Hi, welcome. You are watching University of Universe. On today's episode, Tesla unveils its latest innovations and milestones with the highly anticipated Cybertruck upgrades to its supercharger network and new collaborations. First, we explore Tesla's ambitious factory developments, including an exciting tunneling project by the Boring Company. Meanwhile, Cybertruck misconceptions are dismantled and new insights into its delivery and safety performance surface. Additionally, Tesla's charging infrastructure is expanding like never before, with groundbreaking supercharger stations in California. To top it all, the brand captures main character energy in a new partnership with a rising star in South Korea. Let's dive deeper into Tesla's recent moves and how they continue to redefine electric mobility. One of Tesla's guiding principles, as often emphasized by Elon Musk, is that the factory is the product. Musk's philosophy is evident in Tesla's continuous efforts to improve its manufacturing facilities. This approach started with the introduction of Giga Presses in Fremont and expanded significantly with the Giga Texas facility. Giga Texas, a colossal factory, represents the integration of several facilities under one roof, much like an advanced circuit board where each element works together seamlessly. The goal is straightforward, bring raw materials in one end, process them efficiently, and roll out a finished vehicle at the other. This concept has evolved even further with Tesla's newest tunneling project at Giga Texas. Dubbed the Cyber Tunnel. This latest project has been constructed by the Boring Company, creating a direct route between the production floor and a parking lot located across a highway. According to a recent video by Joe TM, Tesla has completed much of the interior work, including road surface installation, painting, and lighting for the tunnel. In earlier updates, Joe TM showed how Tesla had to remove tons of broken concrete from the site, suggesting potential initial setbacks. However, these issues seem to be resolved as the tunnel nears completion. The cyber tunnel holds a unique purpose as the final passage for newly manufactured cyber trucks, linking the production area directly to the delivery lot. In a lighthearted but apt comparison, Tesla's official Cybertruck X account referred to this as the birthing tunnel. Soon, Cybertrucks will exit the factory autonomously through this tunnel without requiring a driver at the wheel. The tunnel offers a controlled, traffic-free route, which eliminates the need for extensive human intervention, adding a level of efficiency and autonomy to Tesla's delivery process. This kind of infrastructure innovation aligns with Musk's vision of automating and optimizing every part of the manufacturing process. Speaking of the Cybertruck, its delivery officially began in Mexico on September 25th. Unfortunately, the initial batch of deliveries didn't entirely escape mishaps, as two of the 40 Cybertrucks delivered in Mexico were quickly involved in serious accidents. The most severe incident happened in Guadalajara, where a Cybertruck reportedly flipped, leaving a young woman critically injured after being ejected from the vehicle. Three other passengers required extraction using hydraulic tools, highlighting the severity of the crash. Tesla's head engineer for the Cybertruck, Wes Morrell, admitted his difficulty in understanding the exact dynamics of the crash despite extensive testing and simulations. The unique design of the Cybertruck, with its low center of gravity, typically makes rollovers rare. However, this incident showed that under certain circumstances, rollovers are indeed possible. A second accident occurred just a day earlier in Mexico City where a 23-year-old man lost control of his Cybertruck and crashed into a gate. Fortunately, no injuries were reported, though the Cybertruck itself was significantly damaged. Interestingly, this incident dispels the myth that the Cybertruck lacks a front crumple zone, as the front of the vehicle absorbed the impact quite well. Tesla designed the Cybertruck's front underbody with a megacasting capable of breaking into smaller pieces to dissipate impact energy, which helps enhance passenger safety during collisions. Although Tesla's Cybertruck has only recently started deliveries, it has already secured a significant position in the EV pickup market. By the end of the third quarter, Cybertruck sales had outpaced those of the Ford F-150 Lightning, a major competitor in the electric truck market. 
Tesla delivered 28,250 Cybertrucks compared to Ford's 2,287 Lightning trucks. Ford even announced a pause in F-150 Lightning production from November 18th to January 6th due to low demand. Notably, Tesla revealed that the Cybertruck achieved a positive gross margin in the third quarter, a feat other electric trucks have yet to accomplish despite being on the market for nearly three years. The Cybertruck is also grabbing attention outside of sales figures. Recently, actor Mark Wahlberg was spotted using a Cybertruck decorated with Halloween themes to promote his tequila brand, adding an unconventional yet eye-catching element to Tesla's latest release. Cybertruck's bold design and high visibility make it the center of attention, and customers are finding creative ways to personalize it, from decorations to customized features. Tesla's innovations don't stop at the Cybertruck, however. The company is expanding its charging network with plans for its largest supercharger site to date. In Lost Hills, California, Tesla has announced a supercharger station with 168 stalls, set for completion by mid-2025. This station will be largely powered by renewable energy, using 11 megawatts of solar panels installed above the charging stalls and on 30 acres of adjacent land. Tesla will also deploy 10 megapacks with a combined capacity of 39 megawatt hours for energy storage. This approach allows Tesla to meet substantial energy demands with minimal reliance on the grid, ensuring that drivers can charge their vehicles sustainably. Lost Hills is located along Interstate 5 between San Francisco and Los Angeles, one of the busiest EV routes globally. The location holds historical significance, as Tesla launched its first supercharger there in 2012. Initially, it featured a single 90-kilowatt stall and even experimented with battery swapping technology in 2014. Today, it has expanded to 98 stalls, and Tesla aims to double the station's capacity once grid capacity allows. Additionally, Tesla plans to build a second 168-stall supercharger site nearby, further strengthening its presence along this key route. These developments showcase Tesla's dedication to providing convenient and accessible charging options to support the growing EV market. In South Korea, Tesla has made a strategic move by appointing a new ambassador, Kim Yun-kyung, known for her charisma and influence. Kim rose to fame through her participation in the Olympic Games and has since become a popular figure. She expressed her excitement to work with Tesla, stating that she hopes to spread a positive message through her collaboration with the brand. While Tesla typically refrains from brand promotions outside Asia, this partnership highlights Tesla's shift in marketing strategy in select regions. Tesla's recent achievements emphasize the brand's commitment to growth, innovation, and efficiency. From advanced manufacturing techniques and autonomous vehicle deliveries to sustainable charging infrastructure and strategic partnerships, Tesla continues to push boundaries in the electric vehicle industry. As the Cybertruck gains traction and Tesla's supercharger network expands, the company is setting new standards in the EV market. It will be fascinating to see how Tesla's innovations shape the future of transportation. If you enjoyed today's deep dive into Tesla's latest innovations and want to stay updated on everything electric vehicles, technology, and more, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode and join us as we explore the future of sustainable energy and cutting-edge tech. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.